Welcome to MTG Grinders, it's Wayno here coming to you with a magic video series. Finally, you might say, it's been a long time coming, we have not done a video series in a long time, by we I mean me, um, uh, it's, look I've had a bit of a hiatus you might say, uh, from the game since the Grand Prix, but uh, we're back and we're doing some content and um, you know, um, hopefully it's going to be good, hopefully you're going to enjoy some videos, local videos, um, coming up against some interesting decks online at the moment, the format's very diverse. Um, but I'll talk about that when I get into the deck tech. Right now, I just want to give a shout out to my fellow Grinders team members. We've got Dave, we've got Trent, we've got Kyle, we've got Barker, we've got Cohen, Andrew, myself, Wayne, Lewis, and Tyler. Look, you guys are a great bunch of guys. It's been great working with you and great talking magic with you. So um, for those of you that don't know and aren't, aren't really you know, contributing to the page yet, uh, feel free to, feel, feel free, like we appreciate the feedback, um, positive, constructive, negative, anything you want to say, feel free to share it, we're happy to take on your advice, we're happy to talk magic, we're happy to work on your decks, we're happy to just, gen anything in general, it's, um, it's great to see, so thank you for your support, uh, I think we're up at over 250 likes now, if we can crack that 300 by the end of the year, it'd be pretty sweet, um, it's come a long way in the last 12 months, that's for sure. Alrighty, so moving on guys, um, so we're going to have a look at a deck that I've been playing for a few months now, and you say a few months, well I mean the standard, is probably since B Battle for Zendikar, um, so look, <sighs> the format's pretty interesting, like there's a lot of interesting decks, um, there's a lot of avenues, you can, a lot of different avenues you can take, right now, I'll bring up my, my build, currently I'm playing an Esper control deck, which is originally piloted by uh, Andrew Cuneo, um, pro player. Um, Andrew, <sighs> Andrew built this deck um, to be able to compete in a format now where creatures are pretty much the main win condition. So there's a lot of a lot of diverse creatures out there and a lot of variety, varying casting costs. So we had to get the removal suite right, and I think he's done a pretty good job with that. So if you take a look at the deck, there's no creatures, and that the biggest ambition is Jace. Now Jace is obviously a huge player, and it could be absolutely wrong to not have him, but he does turn on the, the opponent's removal. So we've got to take that into consideration. So look, and not having Jace allows us to play more removal, so let's take that on board. So we have cards like Silk Wrap, Stasis Snare, Planet Outburst, and quarant, um, quarant, was it quarantine? quarantine field um, available to us. We also have Murderous Cut, um, we have an Utter End, Sylvan Guards Command, and whilst it's not removal, Urgentize Command, and if we're looking at it in terms of creatures, it, it kind of is, um, but with a bit more flexibility. So, um, you know, we've got quite a variety of removal. We also have a Blighted Fen in the sideboard, oh, sorry, in the, in the mana base, uh, which is something I am a fan of. Um, as we see, Blooded Fan, and another added removal. Lands that do things are often pretty good. Um, how do we win? So we've got four four Shambling Vents, and we've got four Planeswalkers. So we have two Narset Transcendent, and two Obnixilus Reignited. Now, if we can get Narset and Obnixilus in play at the same time, it's pretty tricky for our opponents to win. Uh, the deck performs pretty well, and it gets a little engine going, and once you get an Emblem of Age, it's just over. Um... Often the Obnixilus emblem is, is really just a, a game winner in itself because the opponent's technically losing four life a cycle of turns. So every time they have a turn and you have a turn, one cycle of turns, it's uh, four life lost. And that doesn't include any extra card draw that you may be able to conjure up. So it, it's quite an effective little, little end game. Um, our mana is pretty important. Now the deck is missing polluted delta i will absolutely say that polluted delta would make this deck a lot better um cutting a, a couple planes and some of the, the the tap lands like the dismal backwaters here um there's, they're really not effective uh, and they actually hinder the deck quite a bit so you'll get to see that hopefully in the matches that we play but at the same time you'll hopefully get to see the deck work at its finest and um and see how it competes in the current meta game i've beaten all variety of decks um with this deck so I've been, as i said i've been playing it for a little while um beating um Desk guy, uh, Dark Jess guy, bidding, um, bring to light decks, bidding, uh, Abzan varieties, bidding Esper tokens, uh, bidding red green aggro, um, even so, um, you know, it's quite good. Bidding fellow control decks as well. Um, looking at the, that's the sideboard, um, we've got our options to so bring in a couple, against a couple different matchups. So, 
and bring that across here. You can see these five cards here. We've got four Irish and Clerics and one Surge of Righteousness. I uh, really like having access to more two mana spells against Red Green because you just want to be able to um, stem the bleeding early on. So they help that greatly. we also got a Dispel and a Gate and a Pearl Lake Ancient. They're a good bit of, um, oh, not a catch all, but a bit of versatility for the deck. So Dispel and Negate, obviously, against Control or Spell um, spell Heavy decks like Esper Tokens are quite strong. It's Pearl Lake Ancient is a good closer. Um, good against other Control matchups. Good against decks like when you're in game three and they're not expecting you to have the big creature, it's really strong. Um, not great against Crackling Doom decks, but obviously still good um, Still good where it can be. And moving into the dis discard, um, we've got Despise, Duress, and a Transcend the Mind. So a few different options with discard. Um, I'm not sold on those. I feel like some number of them are correct, but um, I'm not really happy with how they've played out. Um, the Virulent Plague is... A Look, Esper Tokens was very strong online, but it's not so much now, so I'll be keeping one um, to go with the Languish and also the Planar Outburst in the main. I uh, guess it's a bit of versatility. Um, I owed one Infinite Obliteration. Now, they're not dear by any means, but um, I haven't had a chance to get any more. So, um, now the reason why I'm talking about this card is because it is one deck online at the moment that is a, let me say, a complete pain in the ass to deal with. Um, it's the green-blue ramp deck. And for those of you that haven't played against it, it runs four all the mug, I'm pretty sure. I say four because I've only seen it. I've seen a deck get to three. I haven't necessarily seen a fourth come out yet. But um, they play Ugin. They play ramp. Um, they play lands that help them ramp without spells. They And once they start chaining Ugins and things like that, oh, sorry, chaining Ulamogs is really difficult to beat. The fact that the triggers uh, when they cast, man, it's such a beating. And, like, you've got all that, and then you've got Lumbering Falls. That card is a nightmare for this deck. I can't deal with it um, at all. Like, there's nothing at the moment that I have um, that could deal with that card. I mean, you know, I can sit I can sit Arish and Clerics in front of it, but I'm not going to bring those in. I just can't deal with it. It's a very tricky card for me. Um, so, any answers on that, that'd be great. I'd really like to hear about that. Because um, it is a tough one to play around. So right now, just to get back in the swing of things, we're going to play some two mans. So that's the deck. Um, I'm going to get in there, load up again, and I will be back shortly for the first round of what will hopefully be a lot more to come. <laughs> 